My project is all about dragons. Dragons come in all different shapes and sizes, but all of them are awesome. They have wings, so they can fly through the air. They can even do tricks. Some dragons are really cute, like Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. Aw, he doesn't have any teeth. On the other hand, in Sleeping Beauty, Maleficent turns into a dragon with a whole bunch of teeth. It's probably tougher to use a toothbrush. Some dragons breathe fire. They do this to protect their gold or because they just ate a bunch of spicy chicken wings. Why does he even need all that gold? To buy more spicy chicken wings? Other dragons breathe ice. That's handy for when your ice cream is starting to melt. Thanks. Some dragons just have bad breath. That's the scariest breath of all. Maybe he needs to brush his teeth too. There are dragons that are big enough for you to ride on. And then there are dragons that are small enough to ride on you. Most kids love dragons. My older sister even likes them called Imagine Dragons. They don't look like regular dragons. I think they're radioactive or something, like Godzilla. Godzilla likes to step on buildings. He's not a really a dragon though, more of a dinosaur. We'll talk about dinosaurs later. For now, back to dragons. Dragons are used as symbols for a lot of things. Knights used to have dragons on their shields. During the Chinese New Year, you can see a dragon dance. No, not that kind of dragon dance. That's better. Some dragons are magic, but some are not. This list is starting to drag on. So in conclusion, dragons live in castles and lighthouses, up on mountains and down in caves. They can be cuter than a kitten and friendlier than a dog. Dragons can fly you to school so you don't have to take the bus. And that's why you should have a dragon as a pet. So what's your favorite dragon? Is it from a movie, a book, a video game? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe!